Hope you're having a good day and I hope you've been able to stay cool out there as well because that's topping our show this week, the scorching temperatures. And if you're hot, there's a good chance your animals are too. So to stay cool or to keep grazing, that's the question many cattle will ask themselves this time of year when out in the summertime sun. And it's a big question because the more time cattle spend trying to stay cool, the less time they spend eating, growing, producing milk, and making you profits. We spoke with an expert to get his advice on what you can do. One hot topic during the scorching summer months is finding the best way to keep your cattle cool. According to animal environment extension specialist, Dr. Rick Stoll, when the mercury rises, a cow's love for eating takes a back seat to finding ways to beat the heat. What this means for the producer is that it'll take longer for them to get up to the desired body weight to sell them or uh, market them. And, uh, and this means that their feed efficiency will go down and feed costs for that same product will, will go up. And um, for the uh, cow-calf operation, uh, what they face is that it's harder to get cows pregnant and keep them pregnant when it's hot out. And so uh, there's extra breeding costs associated with that and there's potential costs of keeping a, a cow that's open or not pregnant. Uh, do they maintain that cow or do they sell it? Stoll says using the temperature humidity index can help determine how hot and uncomfortable your cattle are. Research shows when the THI is about 75, cattle may be at risk for heat stress. Keeping an eye on the dew point is good practice too. Dew point temperature doesn't vary throughout the day uh, like temperature and humidity do, but if the dew point uh, temperature is getting in the upper 60s or uh, into the 70s, we can be pretty sure that cattle are going to be impacted. As far as symptoms for cattle that are exhibiting heat stress, it's important to look for panting and an increased respiration rate. If we think about the dog days of summer, uh, how do dogs behave when it gets hot and sticky? Uh, they will start panting, they'll start slobbering around, mouth open. And uh, we don't want cattle to do that normally. Cattle aren't designed like dogs. Uh, but they will start having those behaviors. They will start breathing fast, panting, and when they're under stress, they will have open mouth breathing and uh, kind of slobbering with their tongue out. And even on especially hot days, you can sometimes still catch a breeze. That's why Dr. Stoll offers the reminder to keep your cattle's pen free from obstructions so air can pass through. You may also want to provide portable water and shade that can be moved as the animals do. And adjust your schedule to limit heat stress on the animals as much as possible. When do we feed and handle cattle? Uh, we want to feed and handle cattle early in the morning. And if we don't need to handle cattle when it's hot, um, push that back and, and try to keep that stress, extra stress for a time when they're not under heat stress. Now this heat isn't anything to play around with. Make sure you have your cattle plenty of fresh water. Maybe even have some extra water on hand too if you need it. And we've posted a link to the temperature humidity index that we mentioned in that story. That's on the Market Journal website and you'll also find some information on how a few changes to your cattle's feeding can reduce heat stress.